Okay, hey YouTube. I figured I'd do a quick video and show you uh, a little bit about um, uh, recording your screen using your screen recorder um, with Arch Linux and KDE. Um, I ran into fits um, trying to get this thing running, and I figured, well, you know, it'd probably be a good idea to go ahead and share some of this information with other noobs. You know, being a noob myself, like I said, I've only I've only been involved in in, in uh, Arch Linux, or Linux as a whole, for probably two months. So, you know, fresh over from Windows, I understand better than anybody else if, if you're thinking about coming over um, to Linux or have just come over to Linux. There's there's a lot of shit out there that, that will, uh, that will you know, cause you to rip your hair out. Um, and with this little shell script that I wrote for this, uh, this uh, screen recorder, um, it actually worked out pretty well. My previous install, it worked out really well. Um, let me pull this over. It worked out really well, and I didn't really have too much of an issue with it. And you'll see, you'll see the script right here. Um, there it is. That's that right there is the main uh, meat, obviously, of the of the whole script. That's what it's doing. Obviously, you can tell that I'm using F, FFmpeg um, to record. Um, this, this video right here, FFmpeg, um, but in my previous install, like I said, it was working okay, um, as it is right here, um, and it's, it's obviously working okay now. Um, but what, what I did run into was, uh, was some settings that I had to do, um, to make it work right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to kind of go through, um, some of this with you, if you, if you're wanting or you're, you're interested in doing um, some screen recording for things like this, like a tutorial. Um, then there is, you know, hopefully this this will help you. This information will help you out. Um, the first issue that I ran into was my audio. When I first tried to run my shell script um, after the new install, um, I, I ran into a problem where it, it was giving me errors, uh, saying that it, it, there was input output errors for the audio um, that the device was busy. Well. There's there's some settings that need, need to be uh, handled first. Um, let me first explain the hardware um, setting in here for your audio. Now, in this F, this FFmpeg script, this just little line, this command right here, um, the very first part of it in mine just goes to right there. That right there is um, the commands for your audio. Okay, you'll notice that it says also. Some people will use Pulse Audio. I'm not one of those people. Some people have to use Pulse Audio from what I've read on forums. I'm not one of those people, so I use also. All right. Um, if you're someone who has to use Pulse Audio, well, then that is something that you'll have to look up online as well. But in any case, um, here's the hardware input, and that's what this dash I is. That's for input. Okay, um, I think I think it, may, it makes sense. But in any case, what you need to do is you need to know how to set this. Okay, if you're having problems with sound, uh, make sure that this is working. Now, people have I've read on forums where they they talk about using FFmpeg or the command FFmpeg, um, and then I think it's a record um, dash capital L. But when I go to do that, it doesn't tell me anything. You know what I mean? It's I I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Um, some of that information I may have read up may or uh, that I read on may may be uh, antiquated. I don't know. That's one of the things about especially Arch Linux is everything is is cutting edge, you know, and changes are made all the time. But in any case, if you need to know how to set this or not this one, but this one, because you'll notice that one's commented out, so it doesn't even get executed. But this one here. What I did is I had to go look at my hardware. You know, I wanted to make sure, I wanted to verify that, that it was pointing at the right place. So if you go over here to your uh, um, K-Mixer, which in my, when you do a base install, you don't have this, so you have to actually install it. Um, and I think it's KDE base dash K-Mixer or something to that effect. But in any case, you come over here and check out your mixer. Now the mixer... I'm going to move this down. Actually, I'm going to set it like this. This is one of the great things about KDE is it'll actually 
set your windows for you. In any case, um, when, when you first open this up, these two settings right here, or these two sliders, Capture and Capture 2, uh, will not be here. How do you add sliders to your, your mixer, or add channels, rather, to your mixer? You click on this wrench down here at the bottom, and it'll bring up your configure channels. These are your channels. Anything over here in your available channels are exactly that. They're available. You can click on them. Let's say I want to move my mic over. I can click on that, click OK, and then it will actually add the mic slider. And that's for my front mic. That's not what I'm using right now. I'm using a USB, uh, the, the microphone on my, on my USB camera. So this is actually not even being used right now. Um, and I really don't want it on my slider. Anyway. Um, but this is how you do it. If you, if you came, if you scroll down here, you'll see capture and capture two. Now you want to move that over because you need to be able to, I mean, they start off, um, as you can see right here, they start off all the way more or less muted. Um, and what you'll need to do is you'll need to, to set it to capture. If you're using, um, your integrated gra or integrated audio, um, that's what I believe these are. Um, therefore, your your uh, like for me, mine has an ATI um, Sound Blaster um, integrated chipset on my board, um, but I'm not using it. I'm using my USB camera, and you'll you'll see that the USB camera is here. But again, when I when I first opened this up and installed um, K Mixer, this was all the way down. This was unchecked. Um, so was the audio gain control. That was unchecked. Or muted more or less. So what I had to do is I had to raise the volume. I had to click capture to tell, you know, uh, tell basically the, the, the system that I'm going to use this to capture sound. Um, and I went ahead and flipped that on. I'm not sure exactly what the audio game control is actually going to do. Um, but in any case, I, I don't know. Um, but I had, to, I had to set this in order for the system to be able to use this and Obviously, I wanted to make sure the volume was up. Otherwise, even if it was trying to use it, it wouldn't get anything because the, the you know the volume was so so uh, uh, far down it was muted. Um, but in any case, that's that. All right. If if you need to find out what this and this is kind of what I was getting at a little bit earlier, what this setting is. Okay, not that one. Damn it! I did it again. This setting right here for my for my USB um, webcam mic, it is set at two point or two comma zero. How do you know that? You go over here to settings, go to audio setup, flip that open, and then what what this will do is it'll actually open up damn it. It'll open up a window for you. And then what you want to do is you want to come down here to audio recording, right? That's the section that you're obviously uh, interested in. Go down to recording and it will actually have um, your devices set up. Now this will actually look different for everybody. Okay, um, for me it's USB camera. I'm going to move that up and say preferred. All right, because that is my preferred device. Um, that's the one I'm using now. If you're using your um, integrated audio, uh, which most people have, not many people actually have sound cards anymore um, because the the integrated audio is usually plenty, plenty, plenty good enough. But in any case, um, if you're using your integrated it will probably just be something different. If you're using your USB, obviously that's what you're going to choose. But if you mouse over it, it'll show you um, the uh, devices. Um, you'll see one says phone on, the other says plug HW, but each of them say card 2, device 0. So that's where I get 2, 0 from, over here. See? So that's that's how I've got it set. Because what you want to do is you want to tell this script to point and capture from that hardware. And that's what this is. This is a hardware setting. It says go here. Okay. So in any case, I verified that to make sure it was running right. And then when I ran the script, it still gave me the input-output errors. Um, it said the device was busy. No idea why. Still have no idea why. But what I ended up doing is I ended up re, um, rebooting um, my computer and, you know, coming back into Arch Linux with KDE, and lo and behold, when I ran it, I didn't get that problem anymore. It actually located it, it found it, um, it give it give me this instead. Guest channel layout for input stream, um, 
And then it says the input's number zero also from HW to zero. So it recognized it, and I was tickled pink. I said, awesome sauce. Okay? So, in any case. So that works. Fantastic. But when I ran it, it gave me a problem with the video now. It said that the X couldn't connect to the X display is what I, I believe is what it said. Well, in my previous installation, I had Arch Linux. It was the same base, um, or rather same platform, but I was running XFCE. Now, in XFCE, you would run um, sudo to run a, a shell script uh, to, to grant permissions, and that's what I was doing. I was typing in, and you'll, you'll notice right here, here's the uh, the address, home custom script scap.sh. So what I would type in is sudo sh and then this address to run the shell script. Well, it, when when it did that in, with KDE, when I did that, it would spit out that error that it couldn't connect to the, the X display, as I think is what it said. Um, after doing some reading online, what I found out is you can't run a shell script with sudo. It doesn't work. You'll get that error every time, and it has everything to do with the way they've got their desktop coded. Because this is, likewise, also um, their terminal, and I'm not sure exactly where they made the changes as far as how the, how the permissions work, but essentially you couldn't do that. So when I decided to run it without the sudo sh prefix, I just typed in this address. You know, home custom script scap.sh. I typed that in, and lo and behold, it ran. So if you run into that kind of a problem, um, don't think that it's necessarily your um, setup here. And, and on this side right here is your uh, your video, okay? Um, and I think Qscale's in there too. I'm not exactly sure what Qscale does. Um, originally, on some other um, tutorials that I saw on, on running an FFmpeg um, screen recorder, um, they were using same Q. Well, when I ran it with that, um, I got an error message that popped up. Not, yeah, an error message that popped up wouldn't, wouldn't do it. And FFmpeg actually told me to put this in. So I replaced it with this, and then I was able to actually run it. So, But don't think that if you get that X display... BS um, that your it's it's your script because it's not it's not necessarily put it that way um, it's it's your uh, it, it could be you know you're making the same mistake that I made um, don't do that you know <laughs> learn learn from my headache and and don't do it just run the script um, I do have the the script in the permissions tab I've got it set to be executable um, so that's probably going to help. Um, I've also had to, I also had to go in and change the um, group setting. Um, for mine, it was weird. It said the owner was root and the group was root, and that doesn't work um, given that with your normal login you'll you'll probably be uh, put in the users group. So what I did is I changed the group to users, made it executable, and then all I had to do was type this in, and I'm off and running. So. Hopefully this video has helped you out a little bit with, with maybe some, some issues that you're, you're running into um, getting this to work. Um, if it's helped out, great. Like the video, you know, go ahead and subscribe. What I plan on doing with this, with this channel is uh, make it kind of a resource for, um, for people new to Arch Linux, especially, and, for, you know, KDE. If you're, and if you're going to be using my distro, then, yeah, come here to, to see, you know, do some research. Um, I don't really see a point in you bashing your head against the wall and blooding up your own head when I've already done it and I've already gone through the pain of trying to get it figured out. If I can offer up the answer, I will. And that way, hopefully, your life is a little bit easier. Um, very pointless and everybody suffering when the answers are out there. Um, so definitely check back on the channel. Thanks for watching and uh, watch for more. Have a good one.